Hey traders, we'll look at the NQ from today. Pretty wild day today. We gapped down. We had our support from our nightly videos here. And, you know, we always we have specific levels, but we always have a couple of them. It's always a zone that we're looking for. So everything we do is pattern first, indicator second. So and what I mean by that is we have blue bars, but it makes it even better that the blue bars are on our support lines. Okay, so blue bars mean that the move is most likely ending, okay, up or down. So, example, if you were long here, riding it up, okay, we have blue bars, we're looking to exit the trade. Start trailing stops really tight once the blue bars come in. Okay, now, it did go a little bit higher, you know, we don't care. It doesn't, we're not trying to pick the exact high bar. Um, so we'll scroll back and you can see how the blue bars have relevance at lows. This one, we did go lower into a new blue bar low. We did not get a correction off of this low. So we wouldn't really be interested in shorting right here. Okay, so that slows it down for us. Even though it fell a little bit, came right back up, um, right into the medium price here. So 9 out of 10 times, we're going to get a move in the opposite direction. Okay, so, and I don't like to look at it just saying, you know, if you were short, look, it would have caught this low or this low. It's, in reality, let's say, let, let's say you missed this long signal. You turn your computer on and it's printing blue bars. Well, you would know right there, if you were long, you would be looking to exit, and that can slow you down from getting long at the top of the wave, okay, or short at the bottom of the wave. Okay, so going into this chart right here, okay, you can see that, you know, technically you could have went long this green bar for a 10-minute long signal, okay. When, in doing that, your target is beyond these highs, okay. It would be up maybe about 2270. So the stop is here. Our reward is here. Know that that could be a two-day trade. Now, once we have odds of a low for the day, that's when we really want to break it down into our scalper. Okay, so I've labeled a couple of the trades. There was a couple different waves here. So I'm not, I'm not counting this first one, okay, because the moving averages are sideways. And in real time, the market was actually going more sideways here, okay. So... Technically, the last wave was up. Okay, we didn't break that low. So, high risk, yes, you could take this trade. But let's not even count that one. Let's just look at the more uh, confirmed signals. So, we have a long signal here. Okay, it's a minor wave long signal. It was for five points. To our exit, which is right here. Okay, we pull back into a major long signal. Okay, entry is here. Okay, we have... We have um, indicators that give us heads up to this signal, okay? Technically, could you go long on that arrow? Yes, but the more confirmed is that green bar after the arrow, okay? So long signal here to the exit, 11 points, okay? Into another minor signal for five points, okay? So that is um, 21 points of opportunity there. Okay, after we have multiple waves, okay, we're looking for a bigger correction, we get that. Okay, I'm not counting, I'm not going to count this first wave, just like I didn't count the first wave at the, at the beginning. Because why? Because we're trading sideways before it, so it's less confirmed. Okay, so f after this wave, we have a four-point move and a five-point move. Okay, so overall about 30 points of opportunity. If you counted the more aggressive entries, there would probably be 25 more points of opportunity. Okay, but really I'm slowing it down to the more minor signals that are a little bit more confirmed. Okay, so let's go back and when if we look at, let's say, a five-minute chart. Okay, we still had the blue boat low here. But when we look at this chart, and no matter what indicators you have on a five-minute chart, the entry is harder to pinpoint, 
Okay, so could could we have went long on this green bar saying we're at a 10 minute buy zone? We'll front run the 10 minute signal with a five minute bar. Yes, we can do that, and the stop is here because really we're trading the pattern first, and the indicator is just confirming that okay, now it should go. Okay, this is support, but where does it start actually making a move off of support? Okay, and that's why I made these indicators for myself because I would just buy this bar, right? It hits support, it's achieved, just buy it. And then I'm at the market's mercy and I would maybe be right overall and still get stopped out right here. Okay, so we're waiting for it to tell us when, okay? The, the pattern is where the indicator is when. So on a five minute, you're really stuck to you know, let's say you don't have this indicator, you're really stuck to buying breakout levels on structures. But the downside of doing that is most people will wait for at least one or two to work to be successful before taking an actual entry. Okay, and in doing that, you're most likely taking more of a major wave entry and what that does is it puts your stop at a major wave low if, if you're placing your stop at the right spot. Now, if you enter here with a one-point stop, you're not really trading the chart. You're just trading your personal risk tolerance, which is not good. So maybe an entry here, okay, maybe an entry here. Okay, now we're at the top. Now we get that major correction. So ultimately, you could be right in the direction and still get stopped, okay, and it's very frustrating, and I know because I've been trading for 16 years, and I've had that happen to me a million times, okay, and it's really just slowing it down, or breaking it down into a different view, okay, and that's why we break it down into a different view, or a different method, the turbo scalper, so our, you can see our entry is here, our stop is here, Okay, it's not like our entry is here and our stop is here. Okay, it's always going to be, you know, stop is this going for this. Okay, and this is a minor wave. Okay, there, it could be a stop of this going for this. Right, so, and I think, um, you know, back here is a good example of that. Okay, so entry is here. So our stop is here, and we had 11-point expansion. Okay, so our stop is small compared to potential reward. So scale out at plus 4, okay, write it to the stop, but you would be stopped on that bar. So if you are struggling with scalping, just know that scalping on minute charts is very hard. So if you're looking at 10-minute and you think, I'll break it down to a 1-minute to scalp, it's still a minute chart. You're still, you know, fighting that battle. It's very hard to scalp on minute charts. So, you know, if you are not using tick charts or range charts, maybe try them out for a week or two and, and see if that can help you in reading the market a little bit better at turning points.